Here's a fictitious letter we received just this week. To whom it may concern, I'm disgusted with the lack of attention given to so-called minor sports in school. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, the football and basketball teams bask in glory, but what about the poor slobs on the track team? Yeah! Or the wrestling team? Yeah! Or the tennis team? Yeah! No one seems to care. Can't you do something about it? Yeah! Yes, we can do something about it. Yeah! Beyond our control feels that the problem lies in the lack of promotion of minor sports. There's no excitement, no glamour. To point the way, here is our modest proposal for coverage of minor sports like wrestling. Or tennis. Or varsity monopoly! Now, live from Mishawaka Memorial Coliseum and Rumpus Room, the American Monopoly Association Game of the Week, brought to you by Smooth the revolutionary new combination hair cream and mouthwash. Only smooth kills hair odor and keeps your tongue in place. Now down to the floor and Lindsay McKay. Hi. Hi sports fans, this is Lindsay McKay and standing beside me is my spotter and cliche man, Dan Ditto. We're standing here at the vast Mishawaka Memorial Coliseum and Rumpus Stream to bring you the World High School Monopoly playoffs between Adamsville and Jacksonville. Dan? Hi sports fans. Yes, we're here in the vast Mishawaka Memorial Coliseum awaiting the high school playoffs between Adamsville and Jacksonville. And now we'll step back as the players take the field. First for tonight, starting for Adamsville is Big Norm Toper. <laughs> Norm's a real crowd pleaser. Lindsay, this Norm's a real crowd pleaser. Norm's a returning letterman, holds an accomplished record for building 19 hotels and four houses in a single game on March 23, 1967. Now here's the visitors. This is Crazy Fingers Cox, First draft choice for the Omaha Elks Pro Monopoly team. Thank you. And another real crowd pleaser. This Cox is a real crowd pleaser, Lindsay. And here's tonight's banker, Penny Rich. <laughs> this Rich is not a real crowd pleaser, Lindsay. Now we have the traditional passing out of the play money, the selection of game tokens, and now the roll of the dice to see who moves first. A hush falls over the crowd. <laughs> it looks like Adamsville has won the roll. Here comes the famous Big M cheerleaders to warm up the fans. Yay! One, two, three, give me an M! Yeah. Give me an O! Yeah. Give me an N! Yeah. Give me an O! Yeah. What have we got? O! Oh. Well, you can bet those fans are really warmed up now, Dan. Lindsay, those fans are really warmed up. Play is underway now, sports fans. Adamsville throws the dice. It's a seven. He's moving to chance. Selecting the card. Advance to go, collect $200. What a move. Just listen to the roar of the crowd. Roar! All the fans are settled down now. Let's see that play again. Roar! Well, you can see why this Adamsville team made the cover of Monopoly Illustrated last month. Now play continues as, as Actonville rolls. It's a six. Blah, 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 blah. Hi, sports fans. We're now at our 38th hour of play. Adamsville has been in trouble the last 29 times around the board. All his stocks are mortgaged, and, and he's, big in, he's been big trouble. He rolls. It's a seven. It's boardwalk. Oh, that's it. The game's over. Jackson Adamsville wins. <laughs> Boy, this is game for the record books, man. Yeah, record books. Well, that about wraps it up here in the Mishawaka Memorial Coliseum. Adamsville takes it in a game that will undoubtedly go down in history. Dan, anything to say before we sign off? Hi, sports fans. from Mishawaka Memorial Coliseum and Rumpus Room, this has been your AMA Game of the Week, brought to you by Smooth in cream, liquid, or brand new abrasive powder. This is Adam Jackson wishing you good Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs>